Swans, before we start, moment of appreciation. You are looking in tremendous shape. Thank you. How are you feeling? Feeling great. That's probably the best shape of my life. I've been working very hard. Um, yeah, man, I've just been waiting for this point, so I just can't wait to show everyone on May the 13th. The Madman. Yeah. The moniker of the Madman. <laughs> Looks like you've been putting the Madman persona into work in the gym. Mm -hmm. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, and 100%. I've been obviously overworking myself. Um, I don't really post a lot of like boxing footage and stuff, but um, yeah, behind the scene, I've been going crazy, pushing the limits. Even when I was, even when I'm tired and that, I'll keep pushing myself. Extra runs, um, weight works, boxing. So yeah, man. Talk to me a little bit about this fight and what it means to you. I get the energy yeah. sense that you're up for this. Yeah, I'm up for this. This is like it's a big challenge for me. Um, obviously, all the fights I've gone in. I've been obviously underdog so like I like this underdog kind of story thing like as the underdog because I've got no pressure on me in it so I could just go perform how I want to perform um and plus it's just kind of more personal to me because his brother done his thing against me in the first boxing match so I'd, it would be great to get revenge on his little brother and ruin the day do you believe you're the underdog yeah 100% um obviously from looking at all the comments and stuff They've been saying, obviously, Deji's been boxing longer than me. He's got more experience and the experience will get him over the line and that. But I don't really believe in this. Like, I see everybody, obviously, I see, I, me personally, I see everyone as YouTubers. No one's real boxers. You're in the ring. It's you against him. Kill or be killed, literally. I've got to talk to you about the current. This T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Deji about it a moment ago. It's a bit naughty. Yeah. So has it overstepped a mark? No, man, it's, it's me and the madman, isn't it? Like, me personally, he needs to be ready for it because we're going to go to war and we're getting a thing. I'm trying to see blood. I'm trying to hurt him. He's trying to hurt me. So that's how I see it. And I'm trying to end Deji. Like, I don't want to see Deji or Misfits anymore. Simple as that. He referenced the fact that Fousey said previously he wants to end his boxing career. Mm -mm. And he said, I had to make him pay for saying that. Yeah. And he did. Are you saying that you want to end Deji's boxing career? Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to end it. And the difference between me and Fusey, no disrespects, the guy was literally a punching bag. I'm not going to stand there and watch Deji try to throw punches at me and that. I'm not going to go half heartedly. I'm aiming for his face, his body, his whole lot. Like, I'm going to hurt him. Simple as. Talk to me about your mindset. Because mm. you mentioned it before that you've had a proper camp now compared to when you fought JJ all those months ago. Yeah. You can certainly see the difference in you just from speaking to you. Mm -hmm. But what does it do to your mindset after a 10 week or 12 week or whatever it was camp that you've been working in? It changes everything. All the distractions that were there before, they're not there. The way you train, the way you work, the way you eat, the way you live, things around you is just all completely different, literally. You've got this character almost now in Misfits. Mm -hmm. People want to see you succeed. Mm -hmm. They want to see, after you stepped in at such short notice, up against the impossible, let's be honest, mm -hmm. last time yeah, in, yeah. in August. You know, then the Ryan Taylor fight came along and again, you were pinned as the underdog, mm. but you got to win, again, in bizarre circumstances. Yeah. You sort of left the question mark, yeah. even though it was clinical yeah, 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 from, you know, from your perspective. The difference is this time, mm -hmm. you're against someone else mm -hmm. who's got this personality of fans want to see him do well. Exactly. And that adds to the storyline of this mm -hmm. fight. How do you read that situation? Um... What do you mean, sorry? Say again. So how do you read it that you're two fan favourites? Oh yeah, no, it's crazy. Obviously, I see everyone calling us the goats and stuff. And I just think it's great because he's got one win, I got one win. So it's like, where do you go from there? He would like get me up or down. So it is it is it is a crazy fight. So yeah, man. What do you know about Deji as of late? You know, last time we saw him out was against, yeah, against the fighter, yeah, you know. Yeah, of course. The, you know, um, with all due respect, he's not expected to go and beat. Yeah. What have you learned from him? What do you know about him? I don't want to say too much. I've, I've seen I've seen a lot of him. Um, he's technically good. Um, that's it really. Like He's got a lot of negative stuff that even if you work on it, it's still there. I know it's still there. From, you know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, but he's, he's decent, isn't it? But obviously, he's a challenge. So he's, he's the next guy on my journey that I need to take out to get to where I need to be. Tell me about where you need to be. I know that there's other names, one in particular, on that list. But what names are up there for you? All of them, like Slim, 
all the guys that they to see slim the kennys the gibbers all of them not obviously I, I feel like people just feel like i'm a kind of a i don't know like i'm just there right now but i'm actually trying to take these guys head off like i'm coming to war i'm coming to war and hurt people that's what i'm saying so you're going from this character that was the nice guy who got beat but tried his best mm. to a guy that's a serious contender. From the laughing stock to the killer. That's how I see it. That's the madman. That's the madman. And that starts on Saturday night. <laughs> 100%. Does this fight go the distance? No, man. I've, I've already said round, round three, if, if not even that, before that. I said that to Ryan Taylor. I said, two, I said round two, I'll do him. Done him first round. Deji, I have a round two, round three. Hope he's got good cardio. Hope Leon's been training him very hard because it's going to be a mad fight. You're locked into this. Locked in all the way. Hope he is too. What would your if you looked into the camera and gave him a message directly? What would you say? Look into my eyes, bro. Like May the thirteenth. I saw you in a reception. Didn't want to look at me, but when you see me in the ring, you're gonna to have to look at me. So, yeah, be ready. It's forms. We can't wait for it. I can't wait. Narratives either. make fights yeah. and this one is soaked in it. 100%. We can't wait. We'll see you Saturday. You. See you Saturday.